Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to securely erase your SSD data the easy way. Now, if you have a NVMe SSD or just a standard SSD drive, one of those two and a half inch drives, then you can use this method to completely erase all the data on it, especially if you're selling your computer or you're giving the computer away and it has that drive in it. You need to make sure that the drive is erased properly. It's not like the old days when we had mechanical drives where you'd use DBAN. These are completely different and you have to erase them in a different way. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So we're running Windows 11, but this does work on Windows 10 as well. Now, before we get started, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order. And once you submit your order, they will then send you your key. And then when you get your key, you'll be able to activate your version of Windows, just like you see here on the screen. It's very simple and easy to do. Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial. So what we're going to be doing here is this is our drive that we're going to be erasing. And you can see I've got access to the drive here because I created a new simple volume. But if this drive was old and used and you wanted to erase the data on it, what you need to do is download the manufacturer's software from the manufacturer's website. Most of these drives will have software that comes with them, especially if it's a well-known uh, branded drive. If it's one of those Chinese brand drives, then you're probably not going to have software for it. But if you're using a drive like Crucial, Samsung, or any of these, these will come with their own software, which you can use to secure erase or sanitize the drive to make sure it's nice and clean so data can't be recovered from it. Some motherboards have a feature in there which will allow you to secure erase the drive from the uh, BIOS. So you can do that as well from there. But this is using uh, the software that comes from the manufacturer's website. And it should look something like this. So what you're going to see here is sanitized drive. Once you click on this, it's going to open up another area. Uh, so we can then install the driver that it's going to need to be able to erase all of the data on that drive. Now, some drives support different methods of sanitation on that drive. So once you get to this window, get to the uh, offline the drive and unmount all the partitions. So what it's asking us to do here is basically make the drive offline and unmount all of the partitions on that drive so it can do uh, the erasing process. So let's go ahead and click on this one right here. And yours might be slightly different to this if you're using different software. It says, are you sure you want to put the drive in offline uh, state and unmount all the active partitions. And we're going to say, yes, we do. So we're going to go ahead and do that right here. And once this is processed and done, we'll be able to move on to the next step. So you should see something that looks something like this once it's completed. It says a message here, sanitize the drive will delete all the data in the drive. Please select the type you want to delete the drive below so it's given us three options but the two options below are grayed out and that's because this drive doesn't support the crypto method or the overwrite method which is uh, quite disappointing we only have the block method here and i think the block method will be writing a bunch of zeros to the drive and completely filling the drive up with zeros and over racing it it will then say yes sanitize the drive and remove all of the data you can confirm the sanitize. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to continue with this process. And this will completely overwrite all the data on the drive with zeros, essentially making the original data unrecoverable. This method is used for more secure data deletion, and it significantly diminishes the chances of recovery if you use this method. So the chances of people trying to get your data back will be pretty difficult if not impossible so we've now completed this process it says sanitizing operation completed successfully and you can see here we have now erased all the data on that drive now there is more secure erase methods out there which will do a free pass which will do zero in the drive and then random and I do a bunch of different uh, techniques on removing data from the drive that this should be uh, sufficient for most people 
Now, once this is done, it's going to ask you to initialize the drive again, and you can choose MBR or GPT depending on what operating system you're running. We're going to be choosing GPT here, and you can check mark the drive there. It says disk zero, as you can see. And again, once we check mark this and create our GPT drive, it will be ready for use, and that will be done. You can now see we've now got the drive unallocated. We now need to allocate st space on there. So we're going to quickly create a new simple volume, and that's our drive then sanitized and ready for use. So let's quickly go ahead and create a new simple volume here, and we're just going to leave this as is, and we're going to go next. And you can give it a name. Let's call this storage, and we will now create this new simple volume by clicking finish, and it's now ready for use, you can see here. So you can see that's now completed, and now we can use this drive here. Now there is a tool that's built into Windows, which is basically your defrag area of the uh, operating system. If we right click on the drive and go to properties down here, and then when properties opens, go to tools, there'll be an optimize area here, which is your optimize and defrag drives. Now this is not gonna defrag your SSD, which people think. There is a tool that's built into these, which is called trim. And you can optimize here, and you'll see it's being trimmed. And this is also uh, erasing data on the drive. So when you delete files on your computer, the operating system marks the space they occupied as available, but the data isn't immediately erased from the drive. Instead, the data uh, sits around until the SSD garbage collection process comes into play. This procedure runs in the background and often uh, when the SSD is idle, it will run the trim command and remove a lot of this garbage collection that's left behind. Now, another method you can do is by opening up the command prompt here, and you can run a command here to clean the drive as well. And I'll quickly show you this as well. So you want to open up a terminal window with administrator privileges and then type disk part in the command line, then type list and then space disk and push enter and you will see all of the disks that are, are listed on your computer it's important that you select the correct disk here because it will erase all of the data on that drive so we need to select the correct drive before we do the clean command so i'm going to select disk zero because that's the drive that i need to erase and i'm going to select this and once it's been selected you can now see it's ready for cleaning now this is the important part you want to be very careful here the clean command quickly deletes all the existing partitions and data from the hard drive and this will erase it from the computer the clean all command is going to uh, literally completely erase all of the disk partitions and content on the drive at once and this is a secure erase and this makes it unrecoverable so that's what we're going to be doing here. So if you're just going to quickly erase the drive and get back to using the drive and you're not worried about secure erasing the drive, you can just use the clean command. But if you want to secure erase the drive, then use clean space all, and this will completely secure erase all the data. So push enter. That will say succeed in cleaning the disk. You can now exit out of this part and exit out of command prompt and your drive will do the same thing where you need to initialize the drive because we've just erased all the data and partitions. And you can go up to this location here and you can create an MBR master boot record or GPT uh, partition table if you want to. So I'm gonna create GPT here and you've just sanitized your drive using different methods, which is good enough for most people that want to just quickly erase all the data on the drive and be able to use the drive again or even give the computer away it's a safe way of doing it now there's more advanced ways of doing this using the nist 800-88 method which is a, a real much more advanced method of erasing data this will be able to clean purge and destroy all of the data on the drive completely and make it 100 percent non-recoverable and this is industry standard level it's not free but it will erase all of the data on the drive using different patterns and different overwriting methods to make it impossible to recover data. But that's really for government level, really. There's no need to use that. 
on home level uh, computers. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.